Yay! <laughs> Where are we in this game? Yeah, it's a good question. You don't recall? <laughs> this, no, and this doesn't help because this is like the beginning area still. Yeah, this is like the beginning of the game. No, we're done day four. We're oh no, you don't have the beard anymore. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all set there. Uh, Kuna lied to you, returning to confront him. Can't do that anymore. Kuna won't talk to me. Sad song on tape, I can't do. Locate a working gun. Nope. Put the envelope in the mailbox in the plaza. I think I didn't want to do that. I believe we didn't want to do that. Doom Spiral's jacket. Uh, sync with the sync to signs with Noid. Solve the egghead puzzle. Don't remember what that is. That's egghead. That's the yeah. Disco is the best. That guy. <laughs> I'm feeling the music in my soul. We should just have you do all the voices for the game. Yeah. <laughs> Ask the Pentank player about Maybell's. What? Wait, what did you call it? Petank. Oh, okay. I thought you said something else. Maybe he can tell you something about the Maybells. Show them to him. Confront the Hardy Boys. Oh, the Hardy Boys. Clash Georgia. Okay, so we're probably missing out on a lot of stuff. But we're just going to head out to the Hardy Boys and confront them. I know All that's right. not what we should be doing. Okay, but fuck him. Fuck him. <clears throat> Hold on. What do I have in my hand? I've got a flashlight and a multi tool. Equip this to open locked containers in the world. I wonder if I could go open that big locked container. You oh, know? that's a possibility now. Yeah, let's... I think you got that multi-tool recently. Yeah, let's go do that before we talk to this motherfucker. This way, I think. There, yep. do you smell that? Can you not detect that inimitable whiff of dissatisfaction and restlessness? That sense that the world is in need of dramatic, even violent reordering. You mean there's a communist nearby? <laughs> and that sense is coming from that railing over there. You mean from Manana? Yes. Now's your chance to establish contact. Okay, hold on. I am a communist. What are you carrying? A uh, flashlight flash and a multi-tool. <laughs> well, a multi-tool. I know the flashlight hoops. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, What's your ideology? Remember, communist. Ah, uh, I was fascist. So it's it was just the best for my build. <laughs> yeah, I'm more Mazovian socioeconomics. And derealization with just like fucking shit up <laughs> and rigorous self critique. I love myself, I'm a hobo cop who hates myself. <laughs> it's kind of my whole shtick. <laughs> the hobo cop thing has uh, worked really well. <laughs> Do you, didn't you have something like anti like objects, something like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can bash shit and heal. <laughs> Really grind sausage, if you know what I mean. Have you tried a butcher shop? Okay, maybe it's time to abandon the subtle approach. Ah, now I see. Can't say I'm surprised. You seem to take your communism seriously. Not a bad thing, mind you. It's good for a man to take time to think about the whole socio-political world picture. Oh, he certainly likes to take his time with things, especially when politics are. So you've given up coughing and now you're hunting communistas. Care to say why? 
a fellow plains roamer in search of greater understanding. A classic story. I wish I could help. Unfortunately, I don't know many communistas. You sure you smell just like a communist? <laughs> but then, I've never studied the subject. You can smell all sorts of things. Fear, disgust, <laughs> desire. Not communism, though. Maybe it's not taught in any of your so-called universities. But there's definitely something going on there. Ah, but you know, I did meet a genuine ideologo a few months ago. Perhaps he is your guy. You know, a guy with a theory. Someone who likes to pit his theory against other theories in deadly theory combat. It was late one night as I was leaving the house. He was waiting on the corner in a bright white jacket. Classic Saramirisi and that. He asked me for a light. We shared cigarettes. Then he asked me if I ever thought about getting into some of the extra physical branches of communism. See, all this political chit chat is just an excuse to rip tar with strangers. Let's say we just skip right to the good part then. An extremely cool way to establish contact. Wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> A little like something out of a Vespertine spy novel, but I must respect the effort. I couldn't tell you. Once I declined his offer, we finished our cigarettes and he disappeared back into the night. Just before he melted into the shadows, he turned to me and said, Remember Dobrava and Abadanai? And then he was gone. I don't know. Guess not everyone remembers. Been wondering about that myself. Some communista inside talked to me. Not meant for the wider public. They love that kind of thing. You'd have to ask someone who knows this ideologue personally. I have to say, though, it sounds like you found yourselves a proper hunt. The man whispers a jaunty tune. A coastal breeze ruffles his hair. All right, thanks, bro. I think I go this way. No. No, I don't think so. Oh no, we do. We can come up there. We can come up here, I think. <coughs> Unless this guy's well, working. Are. No, he's not working. Okay. There. See, I remember. <laughs> lessened since you, were, you attempted to turn the handle. To your left, the lieutenant considers your actions with some puzzlement. As it's always... <laughs> you, oh, it's you know what? You were... You still almost got it! I was close! Okay. <laughs> the lieutenant's posture becomes... <laughs> I've, I've sniffed him in the past. I know. There's something else. The lieutenant's aftershave. But what sort of... I do you need something, detective? It's nothing fancy. Just plain old Tiger Super Special. I do like the way it tingles, though. It's the only part of shaving I actually look forward to. Was there something else you wish to discuss? No. Alright. Let's go hassle some people. This guy again. Fight to work. Fight to work. Don't think so. <laughs> Wordless, he takes the photo and looks at it. Gray eyes dart back and forth on the glossy surface. His face is unmoving. Fucking loincloths. Really did him in. Yeah. He's clenching. There is silent pressure behind it. What it means. I can tell you what this one means. Only one. Our colonel is deep in the bush here. Deep in the fucking bush. In Benito. 40 
one monsoon season he's on a reconnaissance mission he spent a month behind enemy lines scouting kicked villages nothing but fucking bugs and snakes for fun <laughs> men <laughs> are getting restless there's talk of switching employers some strange emotion. This is about to get really graphic. Last moment to back off. Our boy, he's only a captain then, but he knows how these men think. If they don't see action soon, at dawn, he comes upon two kids breeding in the bushes by the river. Or maybe they weren't breeding. Maybe they were just making eyes at each other. I like we shot the boy. He was useless. But the girl, she was not. A little fat, you know. But not too old. She was quite the entertainment. But the week she lasted, expired in the hands of Sarge Mason. The kind of guy who'd make Chief there shit his pants and cry like a bitch. God. <laughs> Mason couldn't let go. Cut the tits. Alex, the chat's not showing up in the uh, oh, it's not. Discord. <laughs> Said primitive spirits were watching over him now. Uh. Well, I'm not fixing it. <laughs> Why? That's what it comes down hard? to. Oh yeah, no, it's hard. Why? Because I would need to go and get the chat properties for Drew's chat. Did you delete it? Oh, no. It's working fine. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I, I just enabled it. The little, Never mind. The little, the little head. It's all off. good. It's all good. Thanks, Seraph. Easy peasy. Seraph, <laughs> you need to do more talking. <laughs> nah, at all. It all worked out. that it wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Jesus Christ. Yeah, easy peasy. <laughs> easy peasy. Ah, you know, it's gonna, that's gonna take some work. Fucking mask is getting sweaty. I want to take my mask off. He's under orders, and orders are orders. No. <laughs> Being a bouncer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right now. Free commerce. Keep the goods flowing. Uh, do I want to level up or do I want to unlock space for a new thing? I don't think I've got a new thought to internalize yet. <laughs> so I guess I'll take some stats. Um, I'm fine leaving my intellect at dog shit. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> yes. It's, it's fitting the character. I wonder, can I check what checks I have left? I felt like there was a way to do that. I don't remember. Yes. A little bit of visual calculus. A shelf of crime novels and use reaction speed. Ice cream maker maker is a heroic physical instrument. <laughs> These are the ones that I can do again if I level up on them. Maybe we'll go interfacing. Okay. Yeah. Let's level up my interfacing. Mm -hmm. Free flow of commerce! Yeah, it's super fine leaving his intellectual dog shit. Any longer. <laughs> Just leave. 
<laughs> fucking bum. How about you fuck off now, huh? Okay, of course. The man's breathing steadies, but his eyes are still narrow. Slowly, he's trying to get his right to work dance back on. It's hard to do that. We were promised work. The physically impressive man tower had All right, man tower. Looking for a man in a uh, white jacket over by the harbor. So I can go full communism. Usually a man in a white coat is a bad sign. Well, this guy's got a white coat on. It's you again. Oh, Hardy, there you go. I forgot that that's where he went. Fuck. I knew that fucking whore couldn't be trusted. Sorry, lady. For the record, Titus Hardy did not explicitly specify the victim as a whore, nor did he say anything about trusting him. Oh, shut up and stay out of this, Liz. Just in denial, asshole. You don't understand their traumatic experience. She's shutting down. And she doesn't fucking trust you. Yeah, she's crazy. You know. A crazy bitch. One. Or three. You know what? Three. Yeah, cut three. the bullshit. Oh, <laughs> I'm at the end of my goddamn rope with you. I fucking told you not to push her. His hands become fists. And you That's win. what I've been waiting for. Titus Hardy. Success. Titus backs off. Fists down. <laughs> God damn. No one tells you to put your fists down. Everard personally sent me to take care of this. If this goes south, we'll all be in the shit. But you, Titus Hardy, are going to be buried. Am I understood? The room is so quiet you can hear a pin drop. The rest of the cafeteria has gone quiet, too. Someone has to rush in to break the tension. The second in command. <laughs> Look, Copper. We know that that fuck was a rapist and a killer. We got him confessing to it on tape. Show it to him, T. What's the harm, right? Here, jerkwad. Listen to this shit. And then come back and tell me the soldier of the apocalypse was an innocent man. <clears throat> Three. <laughs> you I also like four. Yeah. Shit, deaf and dumb. You are seeing all you know who wants to know how to fuck people. There's no university degree for that. We have machines. We're in a robotics. <laughs> how do you think a harbor works? It's advanced stuff. Understood. You've listened in on their communication. How long? Since way before their chief started taking swing. Things got nice and quiet after that. It's not advanced. You just hold up in a coop all day, writing down what they say. It gets so it's you, me. Fat Angus. <laughs> Don't put yourself down, Angus. It's important work. Yeah, man. You're like a radio genius or something. Those notes are some in-depth stuff. Indexes and shit. I'm sure we can find a tip player. Where can I listen to this? Why don't you try shoving it up your ass, genius? Yeah, play it with your ass, cocksucker. Your room has one, or maybe it's too broken. You don't care about evidence. The fuck are you a cop for, Sam? Big Steve. They don't care about getting the truth. They care about getting conviction. They are fucking keeping a score on their bulletin box. I am not. And also, I have solved 216 cases. <laughs> I won't be on your bulletin board. If you don't listen to the tape, we got nothing to talk about. What's <laughs> on it? We call it the door gun, a mega myth. But if you know why, why don't you listen to it? A door gun is a gun mounted to the door of a transport airship. 
They have a habit of mowing down civilians. Farmers mostly. Don't forget your tape, Longman. Compliments of Titus Hardy. You do that. Oh, and keep it. Maybe you'll need a reminder of human ugliness someday. Yeah, you do that. Alrighty, let's go listen to the tape. Hey, I talked to your husband, by the way. Oh, hello, oh, that's dear. Right. There you are again. You know... Of course, officers. Is there a cryobacter cablensis? Yes, a unicellular bacteria. Alright, we're just gonna skip all this. Nisha Nu disappeared shortly after injecting herself with the bacteria she had brought back to study. No doubt in hopes of prolonging her own life. <laughs> Four! Yeah. Everything has a price, sweetie. After Nisha Nu treated herself with the bacteria, she stuck weak and assumed that she has been living somewhere in the wilderness for decades now. That sure. would be the giant of Kokonur. The giant lives in the most arid parts of the vast Kokonur desert in South Samara, casting a strange light across the barren wastes. How no big one is knows it? for sure. It is like an awful mountain appearing from below the horizon and expanding to cover almost a third of your field of vision. The towering luminosity of Kokonur is a bad omen in local folklore. Some say it's a fata morgana. Who are you? No animal can be that large. It's a mirage. That's what makes it so peculiar. A species surviving at the very limits of scientific law. The giant of Kokonur must be the largest animal the planet can support. There are limits, you see, to how large a metabolism an ecosystem can beget. Some say a gravity anomaly below the Kokonur desert might allow the creature to grow to these gargantuan sizes. All right, thanks. Of course, the. Up we go. This would have been very helpful with the Megami. <laughs> what is that going to achieve? Was there one on the car? Being a smart ass, making your nostrils flare. Fuck oh, off, Kim. <laughs> Perhaps we should talk to Warren at the pawn shop. Or, or that. You can do that. For some reason, I thought his car had one. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face. A regular, clean-shaven police officer. Gotta take the fool out of your hand. Just do a quick save and uh, look in the mirror. We've done that already. <laughs> yeah, but I I just up my a interfacing so I can. Bathroom wall. In it, your face. Oh, my chain cutters. All right. You need a tool in hand. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your, the chain cutters slip out of your hands as you attempt to twist the faucet into place. Well, well, fuck. Okay. Fifty-eight <laughs> percent and a failure. What are we playing? Baldur's Gate three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of there. <clears throat> well, I gotta put back in my multi-tool and flashlight. Yeah, sir. If I, I, <laughs> it may work that way. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone. Now it's a radio, but not a tape player. Gotcha. Pawn shop here. <clears throat> yeah. 
Office balance, the flashlight fades. Fine. Hello, hello. Yeah, we still have those boom boxes on the shelves. Boom boxes wait on the shelves. And your boom box, that gold and amber, heart of Walshi, stares at you longingly with its two real eyes. Sorry, man. I can't be giving out freebies. Never have, won't now. A discount? I do have to keep the lights on, man. It's 12 real. A man like that in a neighborhood like this? In a rickety house falling into the sea. <laughs> yes, beard and be careful. <laughs> you can only do this once. Two. <laughs> Four is the funniest. Yeah, I mean, I suck, so. No, not really. Mm. I expect momentous change at any moment. But it seems that you are fine. Boy, wow, I can't you. believe it actually worked. Success, sort of. Whatever gets the job done, right? And there here you, go. you are. Quality sound Easy. And production on the <laughs> It'll play anything, wherever. Turn any tape into a conversation of sounds and shapes. Yeah, okay, man, whatever. <laughs> okay, dickhead. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. You do not look like a cop at all. <laughs> <laughs> what, with my military gloves, my military boots, and my um, <laughs> my fair weather curious, and then my sweet orange bum hat? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have an orange bum hat. Alright. How do I, like, use you? Interact tape. Interact. The quarter reel is just what you needed. The reels attach to the apparatus with a satisfying click. The tape is rooted behind the magnetic reader. You push command set and the tape starts spinning. Violent static and machine sounds fill the air. This isn't Remishar. This is a fucking villain. I can almost see the elephant. The harbor. That's the son of the Firestone Crane. When this shit is done, I'm gonna tear that place up. Soldier of the Apocalypse style. Kill shit. Dogs and chickens too. Gonna run a room, Cordy. A room nice. I don't give a shit. I'm fucking done. I'm done mentally. I'll fucking do them all in. Rape that disco con on the counter. You know, the dance a whore upstairs. Do it Kohoi style. Never did get that taste out of my mouth. The lieutenant presses the button marked Arete on your quarter reel. The tape stops <laughs> spinning. It's Kohoi. A village on the Samaran Insula in South Stafford. Brad committed war crimes there. I cannot think he goes there. Who knows? Maybe the tattoos would have an answer. He would need to know the story. Yeah, we know that. The doctor probably could be short for Cortana, one of the other mercenaries, the one who was talking to us. Probably the mountain of the harbor here. Mr. Right to Work, it seemed attentive enough. Probably recorded us the short wave, then edited to seem more incriminating. He sounded like he was on patrol around the harbor walls. Yes, it was <laughs> just locked the room box. End of recording. It seemed authentic enough. Probably recorded us the short wave, then edited. Still, I think we've got a few more questions for class here, don't you? This seems to contradict her testimony. As you take out the tape, the boombox tunes itself back to the cheery. Spewing out beats like it's a Friday night. Every last Friday night. Hello, hello. Good 
goodbye, goodbye. All right, let's go talk to Klaj. I like that you're still holding the boombox. Yeah, of course. <laughs> just running around. Now you, it's, it's completing the hobo look, too. Right, didn't, we, <laughs> didn't I steal these or fail this to steal these? <laughs> Anytime you hear the music playing, you know who's coming. I was just thinking, what a nice day for questions pertaining to a murder investigation. She put her coffee cup down with a soft ring as the porcelain meets the metal table. Did he? I never said he was a good man or that he had good intentions. Only that he was never bad to me. Mm, where did they get this recording exactly? It's intercepted radio chatter of the deceased, recorded via a re-encryption station. It's authentic enough. Does he say he's gonna do it Soldier of the Apocalypse style? Yeah. That was practically his pickup line. A memory surfaces in her tired neocortex. It's not entirely unpleasant. Did he say whores a lot? Was he pretty much on the verge of becoming a <laughs> cohoy style? Kohoi was, was mentioned. <laughs> actually there. He didn't do a tour, or at least didn't tell me he did. Would have been overkill anyway. He lived his own little Kohoi. It wasn't his everything. Yes, w was he bragging? Oh no, I'm pretty sure he did all those things. Then integrated them into his idea of normalcy. Keep on living. Edgeways. <laughs> Sort of turn into his, uh... Yeah, catchphrase? Running joke. I was gonna say running joke. And it sounds like he didn't even get the good bit. Lely punchline sound way, way funkier than that. He was like the Seminus Conflict, the Kohoi Massacre, and the 36 Famine in Yezu, all rolled into one person. Then cast in Noreni Saram's armor. So she could wear in bed and in the shower. You like this? You like that? Happiness was <laughs> Going around with our little scowling stick. You, your first love, Mr. Kohoi here. Did he tell you he had actually done any of those things in Machine Avenue? No. We were too busy laying waste to our own nervous systems to direct any of the fury outwards. He seemed... He seemed happy, I guess. At ease. As much as a man like him could be. Thank you for clearing that up, miss. Whenever you're ready. I'm interested to hear what Titus Harvey has to say now. She takes a very small sip of her coffee and smiles. Like, for example, his name? Actually, officer, I didn't know his name. I just called him Lely. A nickname? I guess. It came from Lely style. It's short for that. And it was his <coughs> army name, apparently. <coughs> He said his real name wasn't his. I tried to pry it out of him, but it was no use. Lily style. That's a good point. We have a few questions we can have her with. A few things a field autopsy alone can tell us. The young woman cranes her neck, trying to catch a glimpse of the page the lieutenant passed to you. On it is a list of autopsy observations recorded neatly in blue ink. Oh, that. Sure. Service history. It was mostly for showing off the chicks, though. How? <laughs> Imagine him lying in bed. Freakish musculature laid out on the sheets. <coughs> Scarred, of course. Tattoos. The sheets are dirty for some reason. No, I'm Smoking reason. and drinking, of course. And his chest and shoulders and arms are studded with scars. Tens, hundreds of them. Maybe even thousands. And the woman goes like, what was this, baby? And he says, 
That was too hardcore. Don't ask me about that. So she goes, okay, what's this baby? <laughs> and he's like, saw some bad shit there. Kill some loincloths. And so it goes. Star after star. Port after port. Third world country after third world country. And he's done horrible things in every single one of them. Oh, yeah. No, thank you. I've seen enough of him, though. I can tell you what they meant without looking at them. Go on. He was a blue-eyed boy with thick eyes from a small town. He was also poor, and the government of Aranya needed some people killed. So they turned him into a grotesque killer. For money. He went to Killer Academy in Bredefort. Then he killed some people on the Seminine Islands. And on other islands, too. All of the islands. <laughs> One. <laughs> After this, he came to Ravishor and got killed himself. It is when you're high. It can be very exciting then. You have the tools to deal with it. It's not a very nice story to remember when you're sober. A change of topic? A real rainbow splattering of pharmaceuticals, I bet. Barbiturates, amphetamine, sildenafil. How much does the toxicology report cost the police of Revishaw? I could do it for half of that. Could you use some money? Make some myself. It's quite expensive, yes. But we'll manage with what you have. <laughs> he was 42. 42? Are you sure? I would have had him 42. He had many scars that made him appear older. But no. He even celebrated his birthday, like, some weeks ago. It was a funny two days. He had little reason to lie to me. We were slightly off, though. Thank you for clearing it up, famous. The adversary one. Yes. Light blue. They were like... Like little blue galaxies. It was strange. Seeing those eyes and his fucked up face. Pardon the swearing. I do him an injustice. He wasn't ugly. And he had a beautiful, soft voice. Very surprising, what with all the scarring. It was quite something, watching him speak. He had a combat wound? On his chin and mouth? Yes. Severe. It made him look like half his face was cracked and away in some strange smile. That and those eyes. It's clear she was very much attracted to him. And still is. Of course. He was the most strangely beautiful man I've ever been with. And I mean that. And now, he's dead. A pity. Ah, oh, yes. His hair, if you can remember. It was light brown, almost blonde. <laughs> <And> <laughs> <the> <laughs> <darkness> <laughs> was brilliant to me. Made the oily. Not meant to stroke. I couldn't convince him to leave it alone. Oily, isn't it? We have that in common now. The lieutenant blinks. His expression does not change. All right, let's see where this is going. a sound, <laughs> something in the reeds, when the wind comes through them, on the inlet, on the little islands there between castaway tires, her light brown eyes fixed on yours, then disappear behind her bangs as she drops her chin. In Orania, officer, it's, um, I think municipality is the term, a nowhere town there. Orania? Arani's map of water is this picture with the tattoo. You were almost right, officer. That means his race was accidental, not mundial. I looked at the form. Yes. We were compatriots. Did that bring you together? No. He was too old for that. I'm from another part of Arani and Rej. I didn't even understand his accent. What brought us together was in Arani. It was bad habits. Sex, alcohol, speed, <laughs> probably also sylvanism, and violence. <laughs> it very well could be, yes. What do I mean? I have no idea. I don't even know what we mean. <laughs> Love did him in? What does that mean? 
That's not funny, officer. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Pretty funny to me. <laughs> Coolly, gracefully, she pours herself more coffee. I think Joe Cartoon's uh, pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> he still sometimes makes little cartoons, but he's like a hillbilly that plays guitar and sings music. That's like super like conspiracy red pilled now. Oh yeah, I I, yeah, I follow, I follow no, him on, on Twitter still, and he is insanely not popular, and nobody references Joe Cartoon at all. Cor it's like he correct. Never <laughs> I'm fully aware of how off the rails Joe Cartoon has gone. <laughs> I was like, for the goat though. Yeah, I mean, what a legend from the early internet days. Yeah, unsung hero for sure. It's you again. What is it? Hump it up. Um, one or four? Yeah, four. Fucking fuckity fucker. And what did she say then? That it's fine. People aren't supposed to be like that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say she was turned on. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I think she thought it was a little funny. Funny? Please try to control yourself in the presence of Zuko's hose, Taiko. This is just perfect. Just fucking perfect. Any thoughts on this, lawman? Women are crazy. Irrational. That's what you're thinking, right? <laughs> also, your fists are itching for his bum. Or You can say that again, no. copper. Right here. Here we go. Bump it hard. Yeah, but when I get hurt, I get healed. <laughs> you can yep. almost hear his bones ring. Your knuckles tingle, life affirmingly. A flash of pain. Ooh, like got my morale healed too. Wow. He is stronger than he looks. And he looks like Mahmoud Karzai. And now you, Green Claws. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses, then extends his curled fist and taps Titus's bruised knuckles. Not I know her. She's just a girl. In over her head. Um. Yeah. You're right about that. She takes way too many drugs. Well, it's as they say. You can't do anything with an underdose. <laughs> with an overdose, you can at least try to come off it. Take a bath. Do breathing exercises, get medical attention as necessary. With an underdose, you're just you. Yeah, but I mean, she has an actual drug problem. Not like you. Not like <laughs> us. I don't think I've ever seen her sober. I already told you. In fucking hell. There's less gusto in his voice now. His men, too, are growing increasingly. The man is slowing down. Looks like a bad blood sugar crash. He can't keep track of all the variables anymore. I'm glad I bought my reaction speed. Come on, Taiko. We know you didn't hang it. He was shot. I know you're tired. So am I. Why don't you just... You know what? I am tired. I'm tired of you and the whore upstairs. Next time you see her, tell her. Taiko. Fuck off! This is the petulant age of someone who's at the end of their wits. That lion scamming. We're done. This is over. You understand? The Imperial investigation is over. Yeah. On the floor, beer drips out of the can into a small <laughs> No one does anything about it. What is this quiet funeral shit? 
shit. What we need is some beers in us. Bartender, 20 beers for the dock workers' union. Why do we make it 40, huh? Why do we make it 100 beers? You're not loud enough. 100 beers? Now we're talking. Hoppity hop over here, cafeteria manager. The window might be closing. The more beers that get in there, the less cooperative. God, my rhetoric is so bad. <laughs> and that's with you the plus punch six. that guy. <laughs> yeah, I've done like everything. Clasia is playing oh. like a fiddle. Tell them how bad they got played, and they'll tell you the truth. There are many ways to go about it. All of them really <laughs> I really like two, although yeah. it's clearly not the right thing to do. Kim, I'm gonna need your gun again. <laughs> I also like four. Yeah. Cock Carissa. You mean the barman? one. Focus on the words cock Carissa. Oh, or that too. Yes, we're all very focused. What does it mean? Cock Carissa. <laughs> What is happening? What did you say? Fuck. I think he means a joyride made of suckers. You tell me this with suckers. Cock. Carissa. <laughs> Thanks for bringing a new word in my life. Now fuck off. <laughs> Will he? Cock Carissa. I think he's just going to keep saying cock Carissa. <laughs> Sounds like you're on some kind of carousel yourself. And it's not a pretty one. No, it is not. <laughs> Officer, look at me. I need to see if your face is drooping. <laughs> I don't feel so good. <laughs> you don't look so good. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for this game. <laughs> We'll talk later. <laughs> I did want to look out that window, but these fuckers are all still here. Behind the dock workers, a ceiling height window. The hawthorn branches scrape the glass like bony fish. There's a yellow ribbon tied to one of the branches. Light yellow, faded with time. A tiny splash of color in the blackness. Bar. Nice, a key. I don't know about that. I'm comfortable here. Don't think any sliding would really help right now. Sorry, fucko. Looks like you're gonna have to go bush diving. Good fucking luck with that. The Hawthorne's got a bitch of a bite. I'm gonna enjoy the sight of you in the bushes out there. With a loud thud, the old man stands up, pushes the window open, grabs the key from the Hawthorne branch, and slides it across the table. To you. The key is brass. Workshop spear is etched into its bow. The old man closes the window and sits back down in silence. Come on, man. We were just having some fun. I'm tired of listening to your shit. Don't thank me. I don't give two shits about your key. Didn't even know it was there. Boy. No idea. Never even seen it. Someone must have hidden it there before this movie came out. It's for the blue door in the kitchen. There was a note there that you missed. It said the workshop key is behind the window. It's this key. Oh, good. I'm gonna heal myself one, just in case. Thing is, I've been through this door. You see. The key fits the dimple lock. It the man ponders his cooking utensil. He looks up at you. Shrugging is an international. The machine is dead. Oh, yeah. 
I failed to fix that machine last time. No, 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 no. What is this? All these mesmerizing machines just waiting to be plugged back in and played. Feels like it might jump back to life any moment. The lights illuminating the white-robed woman. You can't fire them up. They are broken. Only that one machine in the main hall works. The royalist thimble. What a dumb name. Royalist thimble. <laughs> if they weren't broken, he would kick one of these machines about now. Kim Pinball Kitsuragi. AKA Kimball. Exactly. That's what he's known as. His reputation. Hey, you're Kim Pinball. Hey, Kimball. <laughs> you're Kim Pinball Kitsuragi. <laughs> now he remembers. Fine. I'm Kim Pinball Kitsuragi. AKA the Kimball. You remember. Congratulations. You don't seem to really like Pinball. No human being should. It is a game that requires no skill and a childlike affinity to flesh and blood and to fantasy, science fiction, and historic roman franchise. It is lame. I am not called Pinball. It was used to taunt me a long time ago, before I became a homicide detective and got my lieutenant key. Fine. I was a juvenile police officer for over 15 years. It's how I started out in the RCF. Once I had to infiltrate a pinball ring. As you do when you are a junior cop. <laughs> Lame. Unbelievable. <laughs> After that, I needed to become a pinball champion. I trained for nine months. The job was successful and I was moved out of the juvenile ring to homicide. End of story. Fifteen Second years? I was I'll give a <laughs> It was an <laughs> as was playing pinball. It's best if you handle the juvenile delinquents. Well, I'm gonna call you Kimbo now. <laughs> You're gonna call me Lieutenant Kitsuragi. Or on <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Kimbo. Any time to call him Pimbo or Kimbo must be immediately wiped from your neocortex. <laughs> as if with some sort of mind. Oh, control. I wanted the rest of the ah. game to be Kimbo. Yo, Kimball! Oh yeah, now we're back up here. You clearly see foot Jackpot. <laughs> These and like everything else. Large prints on everything around. Alright, I need to go back to the uh, freezer area, I think. I think I can use this tool to open up that thing. I just need to remember how to get there. Kuno's not gonna talk to me, right? The kid doesn't even look. Yeah. Dead to Kuno. Yeah. An inconspicuous pile of the Ruther material because there's a secret door in the bar. There it is. You see a shadow of the door. <laughs> Have you not been in here yet? No. <laughs> what do you oh, see? I went in here in day one. <laughs> there's a lot missing in our uh, <laughs> investigation. Yeah, we're not we're not the best actually investigators in this game. I mean, I Kuno just told me about it after I gave him cigarettes. Oh, oh yeah, see? I I got I got Kuno close to loving me. I like punched him in the face, and he was respecting me. And then I oh, called him. I missed him completely, and I took more out damage. Oh no, I whacked the shit out of him. I, I, that no, I, he, that all I went. Did a Charlie, I did a Charlie Brown. On <laughs> <laughs> that all went very well for me. And then when he was finally opening up to me, I called him a lame little bitch, basically. And then he now will never talk to me again. <laughs> the lieutenant yeah. is studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. No. I'm just a regular detective, thank you very much. Perhaps not. This is below our pay grade, detective. See that ladder there? It's 
probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? Hey. Alright, hold on. Another postcard. Some loose money on the ground. Take you. No surprise. Okay. A little bit of cash. A little bit of cash. All right. How do I get down from here? I guess I don't. Okay. Come out on this balcony? No. It's small. Nothing else in here. <laughs> Kuno saying anything now? No, Kuno is not gonna say shit to me. No, if it's this long, he's not. He's done. Yeah, no, I looked it up. We we broke the Kuno quest. <laughs> <laughs> So can interact with this. Just an old. Nothing happens in that guy's area. I don't remember how to get back to the bear freezer. Do you recall? Um, it was in that building north. That had like the broken intercom? No, I can't get into there. I thought it was in the basement of that there building. It is again. There's a spectral scent haunting this pair. See, Brian knows me because it's a pair. Years of turmoil, of hopes and dreams, ground beneath the inexorable tides of capital. I can kind of smell dreams being ground down by capital. <laughs> what do you smell? The first thing that strikes you is the overwhelming brine. You imagine yourself underwater. A hundred-legged arthropod scuttling along the murky silt at the bottom of the sea. But then the unmistakable reek of seagull shit hits you. <laughs> on the air currents. An acrid melody atop moldering chords of wood rot and heavy fuel. It is true. The, the seagull shit does people. have a distinct smell. I'm smelling for communist skin. Your smelling is gone. <laughs> you do remember that we are investigating a murder, yes? <laughs> I would appreciate it if you reserved your political project for after hours. The lieutenant lacks your highly developed political olfactory cortex. The smell is undeniable, and it's coming from that balcony up there. Le Telemont, the precocious communist youth, a symbol of a kinder, more hopeful future. Now's your chance to establish contact with your revolutionary brothers and sisters. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? I don't believe it. 
I've never known those boys to have manners. They'll never be scold, but but their hearts are in the right place. <laughs> Skulls are cool. Can I be a skull? Can. But you can still be your part to revitalize the neighborhood. But I really want to be she a skull. She throws you a <laughs> conspiratorial glance, then presses her finger to her lips and squints up at the sky, as though straining to hear something in the distance. Have you noticed the quiet? Every so often, you might hear a gunshot pierce the air somewhere in Jamra. But in that maze, no gunshots, no silence. Whenever she's speaking, I'm just going to be blasting Kim in the, in the face with my flashlight. Boredom <laughs> and complacency. This place is the sepulcher. We'll paint it red. We bring the raucous. You bring the silence. I bring the funk. And what do you know about politics? Yeah, great Mazovian sausage grinder. The girl erupts in a cackle that seems like it should belong to a much older woman. Oh, that's Agreed. very nice. The little piggy wants to make sausages. Out of what? His little piggy friends? <laughs> Don't worry, Kim, I would never make you into a sausage. <laughs> sure. I know someone who'd love to mm, Why are we getting a lot of sausage things after I commented about sausage <laughs> before? Have you Steven? Yeah, it's, it's very sausage themed tonight. And cock carousel. I had for dinner. You did? You did, did too? Look at the shit. I'm not even lying. I had pasta and sausage. Yeah, that's what I also had. And I was talking to Alex before we started to stream about it. Oh, man. <laughs> this turn was utterly Money. What I want from you is better than gold. A wicked grin extends across her face. Oink for me, piggy. Just once. <laughs> There's no way to treat your revolutionary brother. Wrong. <laughs> this is a oink, oink. <laughs> so it's not the worst indignity you've suffered the last several days, but it is up there. The lieutenant, needless to say, is not impressed. Sounds like you're really serious about meeting Saban. It's touching, sort of. Saban's group meets only at night in an old room in his apartment here. It just so happens you're in luck. Their weekly meeting is tonight. Hook your snout around sometime after 10 p.m. and you might just find me. Oh. Because there is. See, Saban's a bit on the paranoid side. He's got all. Yeah, I get it. Not to interfere in your personal errand, but I wonder whether it might have something to do with that phrase Maniana mentioned over here. I was totally about to say that. You were predicted. <laughs> no, you weren't. Otherwise, you would have said it. In truth, it was quite beyond your associative powers. Guess this is what happens when two pigs put their heads together. That's enough. <laughs> Off with you then. Get you later, I guess I'd have to get up to that balcony. Which means... Oh man. It's not a good night for the Phillies. No. No, I, well, I, I didn't watch the game. Yankees won sport. fourteen to four. I am you, Judge. I'm guessing. Judge hit two home runs. Yeah. And so did the new guy. They got Jazz Chisholm Jr. Chisholm. Ah, oh, yeah. Good old Chisholm. Oh, uh, Dylan, check out the. Uh... Google chat, I, I sent you something there. Oh, okay, yeah, give me one sec. This door is made of metal.
Alex, I can't help but notice you're not playing the boombox. I am not playing the boombox. I'm keeping out my flashlight so I can blast people in the face with it. <laughs> <laughs> It was in the basement of this place. I think so. Yeah, this is it. Only the red cable is plugged. This orange <laughs> machine is dead still. It has a hand of ice growing from it. Owls come in the string of your giant compartment <laughs> molten until the lid cracks open. You need to get a kick out Darkness of that. Lies inside, yeah, they gave one. But you can faintly <laughs> make out. Intricate and foreign, left there for a sub-zero beauty sleep, a filament of memory with the words off-site copy written on its side. Disappointment washes over you as you stare into the almost empty ice cream maker. Ice cream no ice cream? cream they deny it here. You gently lift the cube from its frosty bedding, careful not to damage it. Nice. We should take it back to me. Slow can kill that as soon as possible. I'm not sure. Yes, but aren't you curious to know what's on the precious filament? There's a radio computer upstairs. Yeah, well, that's the question. Do we use the filament ourselves? That one looks easy. A few bricks have fallen off. Um, How, how's our corpse I, I doing? Think, I think in character, no. Your character doesn't give a shit about that kind of stuff. The bear's eyes are He's still also glowing red. Curious. It's guarding over the piece uh, of I, oh, I wouldn't say curious. He's more of a dick. He's a curious dick. <laughs> a thick layer of cold. <laughs> not, not quite. You think that he is going to think that he can't do something? No, I just think that he just doesn't care about doing something. I'm going to solve the mystery. <laughs> right now. I guess. You can quick save first. Tiles on the cube are stiff like a smooth Draw. The filament slides into place. On the keyboard, the play key starts blinking. Press play. Oh, you got skill point first? Yeah, I'm gonna get my interfacing up one more time. Hmm, no. Are you reaction speed? It has been working out well for you, so. The interfacing though lets me turn off the heat in my bathroom. <laughs> eh, fuck it. We'll go reaction speed. Actually, hand eye coordination. The speaker comes to life. Static seeps through the machine's plane of magnetic drive. Oh, it's this lady. Good afternoon. Darkest accident on Rue de Saint-Gazelaine. This is East Central Indian Rapid Station. Please copy. Is this the off-site copy? Good. Please repeat the password. No, that's not it. What does she mean? That's not it. What's the password then? Still no. Please. I would pass rest accident. Is there anything else I can do for you? Thank you. Tiles on the cube. The filament slides out of its glove. Fine. I don't have a password. <laughs> this old fireplace. Your flashlight, some of the writing has faded with age, but you can still make out sections here and there. The handwriting is only partly. The full text reads, Heat death outside. A cold wind wraps the door. This, it looks at so much better as time Let's say get even a note in the bottom left corner. The photo collage depicts barren icy landscape. I don't think you're going to find it this way. A pinned postcard reads. No, probably not. Alright, I mean, we can go back to Lady. She's in the church, right? Yeah, church. Church Lady. Church Lady. 
Isn't that special? <laughs> Maybe the person on the other side of this filament is mm, Satan? Satan! <laughs> Oh, I miss yeah. Dana Carvey. Working class drunk. Now that he's dead, you know this doesn't do a lot anymore. Crap. No. All in a good day's work. What do you mean, what did I crack? Look at how working class that drunk is. <laughs> it's the future leader of a proletarian uprising. No, it's not. Yes, and you found him. Now go and tell the working class woman. Protect and serve the fruit. Give me champagne. There's no need for champagne when there's honor. There's always these the working class woman what she There's always champagne. Right now. Who's the working class woman? Vigilance officer, what can this all carry? I prefer the old name. Insulindian Lily. Girls brought them to young cadets and they entered service. Weighing them on your cap was supposed to bring good luck. It used to be, but the communards were fond of them too. Called them revolutionary flowers, bells of the revolution. You know what? No, they bought me misery, false hope, and disappointment. The revolutionary sullied them. But it wasn't the revolutionaries that sullied the ID for you, was it? She gave them to me too, and your jealous little heart just couldn't accept it. She must be the woman from that picture, Jeanne Marie, I think. Enough! I don't go over these matters in detail with you, Gaston, but not while we have company. So, officer. Maybe it's on Drosomir again. Maybe on some remote parts of the city they do. You got anything for me, bud? It is such a pleasure to see you again. Oh, right. If my brother was better, I can steal his sandwich. <laughs> there is some fun to be had with rhetoric. Okay, there's nothing else really over here, if I remember correctly. Cross back over to the other side. You got anything fresh for me? You keep coming back. You find your hand deep in the box smells like economical. The speakers below are banged up and worthless. The sneakers triumph over them. They're the star of the <laughs> show here. I can't believe you have the money for it now. Yeah, like, I could. But there's no way I'm buying those sneakers. No. The speakers below Please no. are banged up and work. Everything's still cool. I can't convince him to sell me the speakers, the speakers right? <laughs> no way, officer! These are for... That's right, officer! Alright, guy. Alright, guys, have a good night. Alright, later, Dylan. Later. Dylan. later. Um, Alex, what um, store do you guys normally shop at? Um, I don't know, grocery store near me? Trap yeah, yeah, it's called. The I don't remember what it's called. Forlornly towards the set. The grocery store. <laughs> <Distant soft locus. laughs> around in the trap. Big surprise. <laughs> One down. I do not just go there. It's either Stop and Shop or Shop Right. Yeah, well, the Stop and Shop one is closing in Franklin. Oh, is it? Yep. Well, hopefully we go to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> A simple yet dumb line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, uh, you know what? That sums up a lot of your lines. <laughs> Listen, why worry? It's going to happen <laughs> whether it happens or not. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> to me, it does. That's all that matters. <laughs> You're beginning to sound more and more like Yogi Berra. <laughs> I do like a good picnic basket. <laughs> 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 I thought she was the working class woman. I guess not. These fucking kids. I think I've, I'm wearing this guy's jacket, I think. The legend. He's back. Honestly, the and real surprise is that you haven't started singing working man or woman. And a little to spice things up. Tequila sunset. Just another tequila sunset. <laughs> the street is hot. Our head. What she doesn't know is that her piece is about what? No. With no head on his shop. Whoa. Is Hell in the back. Fuck. Hmm. What? Yeah, we did this. The right. <clears throat> the wind. Two women stand on the. The women are. When she. But their bulla. Her body is never recovered. Word on the street is that she. Gave herself that far. She, anyway, that's the story of the headless foul. No one belongs. Hi, hi. My jacket. A look of consternation crosses the man's face. He looks at you, then at his bottle, then back at you. What the fuck are you talking about, Tequila? <laughs> fuck you, talking about? <laughs> what the fuck is Tequila talking about? I. That's the jacket you stole two weeks ago from the kid who's making it with his gun on the beach. That's disgusting. I've never done anything like that in my life. You're both delusional. I've caused it. It's neurological. <laughs> I went through some dark shit to get this for you. Take the fucking you know jacket. What? Fine. Maybe I can pawn it for some booze. Hi. Good thinking. Disco ass blazer is on now. But do I prefer? No. Patrol cloak? I don't know, I don't know how many of these I like. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have my fuck the world jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Although I also have this pinball maker's coat. And you have Ken wear it. <laughs> Empathy and hand-eye coordination. Eh, whatever. Fuck the world. You finally made it, haven't you? People point fingers at you and whisper to each other. Wondering to themselves, where did that man get such a cool jacket? Did he receive it upon graduating the Econ Normal Superior de Badaki? Is he dangerous? Damn right. He's very dangerous, my friend. Dangerous and cool. In fact, no one dares to say a single thing about the jacket. But believe me, they are all very impressed. Do you like yeah. my jacket? No, okay. <laughs> Tequila Sun. Uh huh. Danko. There's no. Yeah. Alright, guys. Where am I going? <laughs> what should I.
should I be doing? God, can you let me fucking scroll down? I feel like we haven't used this map too much. No, we haven't. Should head back to the church. Wherever that church might be. You pick up the handset. There's a turn. Sorry, I just saw Sam added that quote. <laughs> it's gonna happen, whether it happens or not. Someone would Gerard, Jesus, Alex. Gerard, what a douche name. Change it. Change your name. What are you like, five? <laughs> Thanks for calling, asshole. Phone hanging disconnect tone. Call him. Call him. Call him. Still. No, uh, I think two. Obviously two. Check it. I, uh... Oh. Hey! Disconnect. <clears throat> Call him. I'm tired. Sounds like he hasn't talked to anyone in quite a while. I'm tired too. If I could go just one month without writing. No. Two months, I could regenerate my brain. Fucking liberalism. The man disappears with a sigh. You do not hear the customary disconnect tone. Just silence in the handset. Lucky you. The call went too far for the pay phone to register. You can still make a new one without paying. You close your eyes and put your index finger on the rotary dial. Then pull down strange. This is not how you started before. Four one four 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 seven one 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 seven three six one. Yes. Four five one six seven four five one. You are going deeper now. Into what some the fuck is happening. Four five one. You have dialed God knows how many numbers. The headset has been waiting silently to relay a signal. Surely nothing can come of this, you think. But it does. A connection. An ultra-long distance call. Your air filled with the crackle. The wash of a strange ocean full of white noise. A little bird starts ringing in there. Not like you bewildered, the sir, as well. <laughs> Before. So no, many hidden small. layers to this game that you're going to discover with me being a fucking cock. A <laughs> I got that one, sir. <laughs> Pitiful and terrifying. You feel your pulse rise with each ring, calling still, ringing by the bedside of a dark but capacious apartment with long windows. You know this. <laughs> the handset starts slipping from your sweaty palm. Your breathing is heavy. Uh, that dick. Calling. Um. breaks out of the depths a woman's voice emerges small the dearest thing you've ever heard Hello? <laughs> you gotta go for it Oh, God. 
Do you know what time it is? It's so late here. It's four o'clock, Harry. I need to wake up in two hours. <laughs> I'm in my rover. This is bad. You feel your right hand on the handset crunching up against me. <laughs> What's happened? Oh no. Please stop. Please let's just hang up. To work. The academy. Where I work. No response. No. I want to go to sleep. She does not answer anymore. I'm gonna stop it. Oh. Disconnected tone. The machine ran out of money. Making sad. I'm a full on sad sack. <laughs> Why? Come on, you know why. Calling, calling. Harry, please. Underneath it, she is naked and warm under a blanket. <laughs> you wore it. Her reply. There's a sigh. Please. I can't. Phone had disconnected. Dial the number again, as you've done many times. Calling, 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 and calling for who knows how long, but no one answers. <laughs> the cold metal is hard, and your knuckles bleed. Takes your mind away. Not yes, sure. sir. This, the absurdity is necessary. <laughs> At least Alex can basically free heal himself. You are going to need to do something it about the morale, though. You any your hand is... Okay, sir. That's enough. Yeah, at some point. He works hard for his money. Oh, here's that church. <laughs> it's been a rough day for Harry. Yes. Thanks. Looks like it's the one. Now I'm going to bring it out to see what's left of it. I have a theory. Minto was able to divine the location of the anomaly from this broken copy. I want to repeat their calculation, only this time with better equipment. Watch. What an intricate display of failure. The paper starts filling out with ink, soaking it in a gleaming blackness. Not a single line of data stands out. This is wrong. Machines should have behaved like that. Cold sweat trickles down my spine. This is play cool. Down. Play cool. Sorna doesn't reply. Her hand running over the printout. She's looking for something. For her morning star. Eyes scouring the millimeters. Here. I found it. Hold on. Alex, you there? Mm hmm. Very weird. Discord just completely shut down the screen for me. Just give me a second. Started. I'm almost. Weird. Is it back up? Yeah, I got it back up. I've never witnessed a problem like this before. Done. I've got it. I found the location of the anomaly. Thank you. Time for a celebratory drink, perhaps. Just so. There. 
in the swallow. Think you can help me again? I need you to go move those water bulbs for me. You like moving things around. <laughs> things around is cool. <laughs> Just walk over to the circle and follow my instructions. Move the third bolt two centimeters to the left and the fourth bolt five centimeters to the right. <laughs> this should do the trick. Is it the third bowl? It's awfully silent again. Has third and fourth, right? Measurements have been marked down yeah. around the bowl. Each chalk drawn line representing a centimeter on the floor. Oh boy, this is going to be good. Oh good. So it was move the third bowl two centimeters to the left. And then move the fourth bowl five centimeters to the right. It moves like a ghost without creating a single trace of sound some water spills out of the bowl wetting the floor the lead programmer sends you an encouraging thumbs up from across the hall time to run back or maybe walk this so i mean i've been healed let's have to take one more shot yes what is it great Everything should be aligned now. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Now the only thing left to do is to unmute the headphones. If we got the location right, we should then be able to hear whatever sound this anomaly makes. Honestly? Honestly, I'm a little scared. I don't know. That's what I'm scared of. I don't know. It could be anything. I mean, what sound does the nothing make? How can you even listen to something that doesn't exist? What if... Silence is only what surrounds it, but the swallow itself is. You're overthinking maybe, this. <laughs> maybe I'm too tired. Yeah, you're right. Let's do it. The lieutenant takes a step back, and then nothing, nothing happens. As Sola, Logan, and Gilda presses unmute on her keyboard, nothing but silence. You can hear some small animals the floor in the chancel. It's that quiet in the sanctuary. She doesn't talk. Her eyes closed and brows knitted together in a state of deep focus. One hand cupping the headphone. Damn it. No, of course not. Nothing happened. Let's <laughs> move on. Despite her fear, she was hoping for something extraordinary to take place. No. No, my hypothesis was wrong. According to this, I should have heard something if I got the coordinates right. Like I said, silence is only what surrounds it. But this, this is just another failure. Silence sounds like silence. That's all it is. You can try on the headphones. See if you can hear anything. But don't get your hopes up. Oh, I was going to say, try something to increase the perception before you do it. Horse from all the no but this oh, yeah, that's true. Has to when was the last... Well, did you hear anything? Yeah. The lieutenant looks down. Maybe the speed freaks can help you with this. Go to... Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. I'll talk to Andre. Where's Andre? <laughs> He's our little lamb. <laughs> it's a quote that no one knows except you. <laughs> sure. Hey, a bottle of pills there. Magnesium, yoink. Ooh. 
Well, sorry. A quote that only me and Jackie and now you know. <laughs> yes. Competing now. Hi again. So, uh, how things going? <laughs> yeah? I forgot about What's this the music. Deal? What kind of a hitch? An audio shortfall, you say? Guess what? We got speakers with massive low ends. <laughs> There's a good chance we can do it. They've got one speaker. One. Uno. Uno. <laughs> I think we have found the solution. <laughs> We've got serious range on this baby. It will blast those things off. Believe me. Goodbye, officer. What about you, Egghead? Drill hard, full of car. Say nothing. Hard car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Despite it all, Egghead, you're my favorite. <laughs> Despite it all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad you took out the boombox again. Oh, yeah, I took it out when I went to talk to them. Yes, what is it? Perception clothing. Perception boots. That's, That's minus, minus perception. To do it. Well, it's still a plus one. Unless I've got anything that's giving me minus perception equipped. No, because if you look on the left, it just says you have just a plus one. Yeah. But still, better than zero. Yes, what is it? See, now it's 58%. Yes, what is it? Everything is hey. now. You are draped in silence like a drowning man staring into his puny little headspace. And then the pressure changes. It feels like flying on an aerostatic, or when your ears pop, or like a subtle difference in the atmosphere, a weather change hanging in the air. What if the sound you're looking for is too low for you to hear it? A better sound system? All right, but where would we get one? Suddenly, a rhythmic beat permeates the wall, causing a small patch of decorative stucco to crumble onto the wooden floor. They should really allocate some renovation funds to this place. No. What they really should do is shut down the disco hall for disturbing neighborhood peace. You mean the speed freak? Of course, the speed freak. They have a fantastic sound system. And you think they would help me? Didn't you I work them out about the moving in already? Yeah, I thought I worked it out. Sure. Let me know how it goes. Like I thought I thought we nailed working it out, actually. Yeah, I, I know. Correctly. And we already agreed that they were gonna come in here and like do their thing. I guess they agreed to do like a legit operation, but we did not get her to agree yet to let them move in. Yes. Oh, 
see you here again. A sticker. You mean the yellow one? Can you describe it to me? Seems like my creation has found its way to an illegal bureaucracy. The dead guy is smiling. He defeated history. We are living in the age of history, and in the eyes of history, we are always okay. the present moment. <laughs> are the hardcore. Or maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's just really ecstatic about the feet. Or dropped out of his mind. Come to think of it. Communism. Yeah, that interpretation holds. But I guess one could write his life now. Hmm. Still strongly out of sync. You heard me. Oh. Hi yeah. again. So, uh, yeah? What's the deal? We are grateful, Cotman. You're an augury of a new era of anodic dance music. That's fine. We can manage. And you're still sure about keeping our little side business, right? Uh, let's stick with, stick with two. Fine. We can make do. It's going to take us a bit to move our stuff inside. A couple of hours, maybe. Come check back later. Let's get moving. Hey, bird. Some people want to eat you. I just want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> now that one I knew before you guys. Pulling out all of Jackie's greatest hits. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is annoyed. He really came through for the hardcore underground. Yes, you really came through for the hardcore underground. How come? Andre is busy cutting some slightly less lame, but still quite ungainly shapes on the church floor, sweating profusely. A cell using her contact mic to listen to a tree underwater. The one with the large head is blasting the dance track on repeat while the stained glass this kid's got spunk is rattling from the <laughs> that was four is funny though I also like five I, I also like five oh, and okay. three yes those are some good lines it's a miracle of carpentry dead bodies carved into total shapes now it can be something more I don't fuck I give me the evil eye Defend her, Lord Minion. She was a mass murderer. Mellow man, mellow. No one's a mass murderer. This is a house of love. Mass murder on the floor. Oh, I see it. The world's spirit does not have a body. It has organs. Hardcore is an organ of the world spirit. This Arno Van Eyck cat is an organ. The carpentry and glass cutting that built this house are also organs. She's a thief, if you ask me. An organ thief. <laughs> I like this question, cop man. She did not live the life of a human. She lived like someone who's playing a game. The life of an operator. That's not the life that humans live. She was a thorn. Humans aren't. I don't know about you, but they hate me. And they do not think I'm innocent. Or some shit like that. I don't know what you're talking about. I have thousands of fans. I'm surrounded by love and support all the time. Fame is a false existence. It doesn't happen inside the head. There is. She is a party repellent. Must be taken down before we can begin partying in here. No, that's not it. It's something more. Something closer to your skin. Will do. No noise. Stop twisting my melon, man. People are gonna love it. 
It will be our fin. Plus, it keeps the cold out. No one says Arno Van Aken is a mass murderer, but your Nordic pioneer Rietveld is not a mass murderer. He was not accused of mass murder. Likewise, no one says Jermaine Egged or Andre are mass murderers. You can live entirely outside that suspicion. Billions of people go about <laughs> not being accused of mass murder. It's just not her. Okay. Dead bodies are perennial plants. Sigma functions are left in the place. I still All right. I've had enough of what Noid has to say. <laughs> it is getting very long. It never was. A 3,000 year old regime of history built by hundreds of generations of Nordic dance music. You know when this kind of stuff goes wrong. Only a little. It's a necessity. <clears throat> there is a difference between narcotics and group elation. The supercharged humanism. Forget it. It would become an imbecile discussion. The mass murderer? Why? Okay. That's right. Alone on an un- uh -huh, I would want to uh -huh, be in space. Uh -huh. The cops would be killed in space. Total. Like that would like to show off large and intricate structures. Arches. Dancer- Slowly. Pure fun. Hard to say. I did get to talk to the crab man, though. Anyway, he's been giving me kind of a psychic rundown do see some crazy shit but he's actually a lot like us the man picks up on stuff and he knows a lot about the church good thing you didn't squash him the crab man's been lurking here for a while he's experienced things things that give off bad signs not like a literal encasement confinement like this is some old world. I don't know. It will be fruit. The wood creaks as a girl blows by outside. Seems to be the trend around here, doesn't it? You can't measure shit like this. It's not <laughs> like like a concentric ring spreading out. And that is what caused the communards to fail in defending. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. No. A nodic new. And if it can't, maybe you Lord. can figure things out, cop man. They're hardcore. They're just clothes. It's just a style, you know. It's <laughs> hard style. Anyone can wear it. Suspicious people are in. It took us setting out for it. Why are you called noise? Paranoid. A reasonable question. Say I get hurt. I want to make sure it never happens again. So I analyze the situation. Uh -huh. It'd be easier to list stuff I'm not suspicious of. I'm not suspicious of sand and colour. Mechanics and chemistry also have a trueness about them. Most anything else you see. Well, I don't have a top ten list of things I'm most suspicious of. But if I had one, the left-right <laughs> complex would be number one. <laughs> number two would be their solar consciousness. The big wheat paradigm. <laughs> I mean, now it has to I'm be true. Curious. Holy shit! We can make better use of not being animals or cereal grains ourselves. Correct. I prefer not to. Both asked the wrong question. Any spark of light, the original mistake was assuming that words had more being than bodies. Whatever this true light is. You feel it's a real centerpiece of this mythology. Mental illness is a term the powers use to homogenize people. His eyes flicker. The life is true if it's free from fear. An eternal division beats and bright lights to shatter fun. Just like that. The speed freak is right in your face. His eyes burning. Utmost dedication. Thoughts from the spinal cord. Egged usually has a better concept of the hardcore. He just really likes saying hardcore. Hardcore! <laughs> Maybe you're being too specific. Many non oxy Oh, yeah. Sure thing. Alright. 
can I do some conceptualization? Nailed it! I it. Wow! You have to add something of your own to understand this list of loosely formed qualities. Thank God I changed my gear too. You need your own entry. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was a six-five. Test your limits. Surpass them. Dance till you drop. Dance till you die. If you must. Hardcore aesthetic. Temporary research bonus, minus two interfacing. Fuck grammar. Not only have you internalized the hardcore aesthetic, you've also contributed to it. How hard or core could you possibly become? Low core people come around you to correct your typos. It's hardcore here, hardcore there, hardcore, hardcore core. In a third instant, what's going on? Those aren't typos, man. That's how hard, how core hardness works. If you don't know hardcore from our happy hardcore, what the fuck are we even talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is right. I'm willing to become hardcore. She's whistling a melody. A trusty contact. Hey there. I've been recording some new audio from all these beams and rafters. The sound's traveling, yep. but that's not Underwater. really what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to thank you instead. Makes yeah. sense. I've deserved some praise and adoration. <laughs> and we even found some new associates, such as they are. Good, I think. Lloyd is getting a read on the place. I think he finds the carpentry very impressive. Andre's been setting up the compressor and dancing. Egghead's been keeping the party up. Sauna, Gotta keep the party up. Programmer. Sure. Party all the time. Help us out. I can repay the favor. What do you want to know? What's the deal with Today? Egghead? Actually... We don't know where he's from. <laughs> One time they were out partying somewhere in the back. He just of is. Or maybe even Colston's. Egg was yelling along to some jam someone was singing. All night long. Just kept yelling until he didn't have a shred of voice left. When the sun came up over the mine. There were mines? Yeah. It was in Coal City. Egg came with us. He made this wheezing puppy dog sound all the way back. Couldn't even speak. It was definitely Coal City. Because it took us two days to walk back to the fall. We just wheezed the whole piece. So it might be Jermaine. You can see it must have been a great night. Remember oh, that. He's the party boy. A nod it means it doesn't really do vocals in the traditional sense. Vocals are thought of as rock. That's to say they're a bit backward. No offense if you like rock music, though. Rock music's cool by me. Pachu, pachu. Swish. Your credentials as the resident future man <laughs> are even in question. Show her your thick lip times, friends. <laughs> I mean, one is funny too, but yeah, you uh, go through okay. is fine. Anyway, even if you don't have vocals, you still need someone to say something every now and then, right? To urge things on. That's where the party boy comes in. <laughs> I am Basically, the future he just man. stands on the stage and dances and yells how awesome everything is. It's very catchy. I understand. People are usually equated with things if others aren't already being done. Dancing makes you dance, like sneezing makes you sneeze, or yawning makes you... Uh... Anyway. Who do you want to know about? He's a fall burger, I guess. Like the rest of us. Okay, maybe not us. I've okay, a fall burger. Cool. Life. What do you mean, do? Like, for a living? No, oh, I meant for breakfast. Of course, for a carpenter, living. Trained and all. He's very good. He just doesn't have the mindset to work like that. In a shop somewhere. It's because Noid is violently hardcore. I've internalized it. I understand why he doesn't stoop to servitude. Do you? You really have taught him. Indeed. Noid serves no master but the beast. Sir, I abide by the law. It's just something poor Fulberg kids do this spring. 
to pass the time? You walk the entire length. Yep. I don't know, man. Have you been down Beebe Street? It's a little bewildering. Yeah, have I not told you I'm a raging alcoholic who recently drunk himself in the oblivion so deep he can't even remember what sounds <laughs> like the biggest street in the city? Um, kind of. I'm gonna say yes. Well, I am. Okay. Then you should go and take a look, I guess. Beebe Street is cool. It's got a lot of immigrants and all kinds of different people. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you do. Who do you want to know about? Andre. Andre. He's a cool guy. Doesn't really come off as one, but he is. To me, at least. She rubs her sides, but not too cold. Her shoulders are relaxed. He takes care of shit. Sorry. I mean, you've got a vision. Nothing. But then again, there's nothing to organize around here either. Must have taken it as a sign when he found it abandoned like that. Said it was an augury. I don't know where he got that from. Andre's not super intelligent. I've never seen him so psyched about anything, though. And he's often psyched. Looks sort of desperate, like it's his last chance or something. Or maybe he was just high. I mean, not that he does drugs, just high, you know? <laughs> Black girl, we're police officers, but we're corrupt right into the marrow. You tell us about drugs and shit, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, drugs and shit. Fuck it. We don't care. Uh, yes. Anyway, yes. Who do you want to know about? Oh, I really do like Kim in this game. Yeah, me too. He's awesome. But he doesn't actually come down that much, just climbs around the rafters. I just try to stay away from the crab man. But he talks to Noise. They seem to have some thing going on. Beats me. Evan. Noise said they get along somehow. Who knows? He doesn't really answer our questions, see? Who do you want to know about? Oh, she's a bit odd, I have to say. Doesn't talk much. I'm not really sure how to vibe with her, you know? Seems like she's not in a very good mood most of the time. But earlier today, she told me about Welkin. And she seemed oddly happy, like she had some idea with those little creatures. Me? Again? I told you, I'm a silk. This a phrase of yours. Really reminds me of. It means I don't answer questions about myself. Is there a law that would stop me from lying, though? That would depend on the circumstances. Thank you. Sure. Reaction speed. Let's get it. Minus reaction speed. Cool. <laughs> you got nothing on right now, so. You should have upgraded. You should have upped the reaction speed instead of the other. And it's all worked out for me in the end. I don't think you've used hand eye since. You got nothing for reaction speed increase. No, it doesn't show nope. on the left. Oh, it does show plus one on the left. Yeah, so. I'm wearing my bum hat. Alright, I'll try. Nope, that killed me. I'm an asshole. The spirit creeps through you, <laughs> getting trapped on your resources. Whatever. Look, I don't dispute that you have been charged with protecting the people of Wilkin. Nothing you can see. Cop gives up. Oops. <laughs> Alex! Well, that's the end of the night. <laughs> We'll call it there with my with my accidental morale death. <laughs> Oops. Alright. Next time I can just blow through that whole conversation though. Yeah. So, um, that'll be good. Yeah, so like uh, next year. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 20, 2025. 2025. 2025. Good year. Good no, year. I'm sure sometime in December there'll be some fuckery where we're not going to oh. be able to be in person. Wait, are you saying Shickley House will get a virus between now and 2025? Listen, the school year is going to start in September, right? So, I know. Although, to be fair, since April, until two weeks ago, we hadn't missed anything. No, we, we, were, doing, we were doing good. And then we're doing good. you doing decided good. to go on vacation. <laughs> you decided to take I, a I break. Gone to shit. Nah. <laughs> yeah, really, every time we've tried to take any sort of vacation this year, either of us, uh, things have gone to shit. It's been crazy. I, I know. And you, for you, it's not even just vacation. It's a day off. I, I Just a day. A day would be a joy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Night, Seraph. Seraph, thanks for hanging out. Glad you're enjoying. Don't worry. Once we finish this, I can start playing Cult of the Lamb. I don't, don't, I haven't forgotten 
I want to get that in there too. So. I feel and like then, there's something else. <laughs> oh, Bill also bought me a game called I'm on Observation Duty. There's definitely something else that we talked about. Oh, well. Uh, well, there's the Obradin that we have to do as well. No, that, that will do it on an actual adventure game night. Yeah. Anyway. Night, y'all. Night.